Hi everyone, welcome back. Those that are new, welcome. Thank you for all your like, shares and subscribes. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Let's get started. I've had a lot of emails requesting me to look into the case of the Chief fans, the Kansas three that was found in the backyard of their friend Jordan's home, either frozen to death or overdosed. They're the questions that we're wanting to know, whether or not Jordan supplied them, whether there was any malice in the situation. And was he really sleeping for two days? I don't know much about the case at all. And it's better that way. So the least I know, the better. But apparently there has been, I do know that there has been some speculation that he may have poisoned them on purpose, being malicious or an experiment because he is a crazy chemist or crazy scientist or something like that. So I'm just going to look into it to see what were Jordan's energies towards the three victims on the night this happened? Was there any malice involved here? Oh, okay, so we have the seven, starting off with the seven of swords and the five of wands. Oh, well, that's not a good start, I must say. In this deck, this, usually the Seven of Swords is deception, but in this deck it is plans, hopes, a wish card, and it's the highest of the minor arcana. Now, the Five of Wands is arguments, battles around you. So these are in his energies towards the three victims. Give me. We have the Seven of Pentacles, which is about work. Frustrations, hard work needing to be done, either at work or a situation in life. We have the sun, which is about happiness, marriage, uh, bright prospects, the two of swords, peace and harmony, needing to take the blindfold off. They keep reassessing the situation at hand. Okay. Okay, so this does seem to be some sort of plan that was put in action here. That could have been uh, watching the game together. Here we have Five of Wands, which talks about um, competition. It also talks about arguments and a battle that's around him. 
The Seven of Pentacles also talks about assessment, assessing the situation. There seemed to be an assess... You seem to have been feeling a bit frustrated about some sort of competition that may have been feeling frustrated about the game. Maybe it was a close game. I'm not sure. Um, but it was like he was trying to lighten the mood here or change the mood. Like there's a change of direction here. So the mood didn't seem to be that great. And he wanted to lighten the mood here, perhaps by pulling out the drugs or offering the drugs or um, But it was something that wasn't quite perfected. It still needed a lot of work. So I'm wondering if it was something that he concocted. I will be bringing in the clarifiers here. But to me it was like he just wanted to lighten the mood here. Hmm. Peace and harmony. And continuing to assess the situation but needing to take the blindfold off. So let's bring in the clarifiers. As I said, the Seven of Swords in other decks is about the deception card. But in this deck, it's about hopes. It's the wish card. And plans. So why is this Seven of Swords here? Please, Spirit, in regards to Jordan's energies towards the three victims that night. Oh, temperance. Okay. Look, she's making a concoction here. And it wasn't a good mix. So I believe that he may have actually made the concoction of whatever substances they took because that's in his energies. A blending, a combination, something that doesn't gel. A bad combination of drugs here. Give me more on the Five of Wands. The Empress. Now, the Empress talks about the victims in these cases. But it also talks about senses, using your senses. So he was feeling like there was a bit of... Um, a bit of a battle going on around him. It's like he didn't feel a part of... Like he didn't... Like there was some sort of competition going on, like an ego... An ego battle going on between the boys... So give me more on the Seven of Pentacles. No, the Three of Swords. And the Artist. Oh, wow. Well, see, the Artist. The one creating, the one making. The Seven of Pentacles, the work. Frustration at work, but the hard work needing to be done. So it was like... He thought he knew what he was doing. He thought he concocted the perfect pill or whatever, however they took it. He thought he concocted the perfect mix of things. He was definitely the artist.
and the three of swords that's showing like that could be showing heart failure here also could be showing betrayal and the three of swords i see that as the three victims And him being him the one making the drugs that actually passed them away. Why is the sun here? Hmm, the eight of swords. He was stuck in his own mind. He was self sabotaging. There was like some sort of paranoia going on with him. It was like he was feeling stuck because there was some sort of negative vibe going on. And he wanted to make everything good again. Believing that this concoction that he made would be the perfect thing. To help out the negative vibes that were going around. Give me more of the Two of Swords. Why is this Two of Swords here? Now this could also have to do with the two survivors. Perhaps they didn't have anything. They, perhaps they didn't have anything of that concoction. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Unhappy family is here. Some sort of blocked emotions. So it does seem to me that he was the one that concocted it up, that made the concoction. What I do want to know is, Why were they outside and he was inside? Why were the three victims outside and he was inside? Cups, four of wands, so walking outside, walking away from the house. Knight of coins in this symbolizes a young man to 25 years, visitors or a message to share. Okay, so this is showing the visitors under the three victims here. We have the Empress again. And the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like they walked outside the house. They had a message to share. Visitors had a message to share. So like they may have walked outside in the yard to talk about him. Now the Empress in this deck is 
delays will prove necessary. So it's showing a delay. And the Wheel of Fortune is showing a completion phase. This could also show that he went to bed. Jordan went to bed. And they went outside to do more. Now I'm wondering whether or not And this is the completion phase here. And it says a delay will prove necessary. So I'm just wondering whether or not it was because they took more than what he did. Or whether or not and overdosed. Um or whether or not they become unconscious and froze to death. So let's just see whether or not that comes up here. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Ten of Wands. Putting burdens down, walking away. Yeah, this is showing him going to bed. He'd had enough for the night, so he just walked off and went to bed. Give me more on the Four of Wands. Two of Cups. The Connection. There's some sort of connection that they can find in the house, I believe. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Regret. They may have started to regret taking more here. When they went outside, this may be the reason why they went outside, to try to make themselves feel better. Heavy regret. It may have just started to hit them. But the Two of Cups... Seems to me that they continued to party after he went to bed and regrets started settling in when they were outside. Any more on the Empress? Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Yeah, 
like the Queen of Wands upright is cheerful. The Queen of Wands in reverse is the opposite to cheerful. Like what he's looking like there. Obviously, they the concoction started to kick in. They had an instant regret. They were feeling weak. Hmm, it's like, because this is showing the delay of the victims. So it's like they've taken an extra whatever they did after he's gone to bed. Because they weren't getting, I believe that what they were taking was cocaine laced with fentanyl. So they weren't getting the up that they wanted. So they took another bit. But it wasn't it wasn't that, the temperance. It was a bad combination. They didn't understand. I don't believe they knew that fentanyl was in it. And because the fentanyl was interacting with the cocaine, it's like they took extra wanting to feel more up thinking that it was just cocaine but they knew something wasn't right they knew something was not right here and they had an instant regret well maybe not instant there was a bit of a delay here What's this Wheel of Fortune? The completion phase. Did they overdose or did they freeze to death? We have the Six of Cups. Which talks about the past. It also talks about innocence here. Give me more on this. Give me more. Oh. We have the Emperor and the Four of Wands again and the Emperor. So this is showing, okay, so this is saying to me, like the Emperor and the Four of Wands is obviously showing the boss of the house here. And the Six of Cups is showing innocence of the completion phase. So I don't believe that this was his plan. I don't believe that he maliciously tried to unalive these three victims. but was pretty much making a big cocktail that was trying to lighten the mood, thinking that he was this also has to do with power. Next to the regret. I believe that the concoction that he made is with his own tolerance. He made it in the strength of his own tolerance. 
And I don't believe that they were had any tolerance towards perhaps the fentanyl. So they've obviously taken more than they should have to start with and they had regrets here. They were feeling... Hmm. It could have been heart failure. This could have, his concoction could have caused heart failure. This is showing that they actually could have died of overdose. If certain cards had have come out in regards to the cold, I would say that It's just not showing me. It's not showing me that they froze. It's showing me that they had a bad reaction. And there could have been something wrong happened to their heart here. They had a bad reaction. So they may have become unconscious here. Now what I would also like to ask, just move these up. How was he, was he really asleep for two days? Like, or was, was he aware of who was in his yard? Was Jordan aware of who was in his yard? Like, that his friends had passed away? Or was he just out of it for two days? And the Two of Swords is also showing up in his energies that shows me that he could have been out of it for two days and he needed to take the blindfold off to see what was going on around him. There was unhappy families here. His, his mates were in the backyard, gone. We have six of cups again. Were they childhood friends? We have the chariot here. Movement of residence. Journey, victory over a situational problem, balancing the opposite polarities. Movement of residence. We also have the moon, the deception or delays. Emotions up or down. Maybe deceiving yourself emotionally 
or others. And we have the death card. We have the Six of Cups, which I believe is showing his childhood, happy house childhood memories. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, who is domineering, uh, a professional involved in business. This may have been the woman that's come in and found them. So give me some clarifiers on this. Now we know that he has moved residence now. What's this chariot? Why is the chariot here? Six of Pentacles, transaction, knowledge is power. Hmm. Okay, give me the moon. Six of Wands, on top of deceiving yourself, wanting to know whether or not he was really asleep for two days, if he knew. Hmm. This is the Pride card. Emotions up or down. So this is showing that he really could have been out of it that day or for two days. The death card. Five of swords. Fight to the death, wanting to win at all costs, having the upper hand. Self-interest. On top of the death card. Self-interest, self-interest. So we may have just been... Mm, I really, oh, honestly, I, I'm really surprised in what these cards are bringing up, to be honest. Ace of Wands, the truth, the truth, justice about his past. Something's going to be illuminated from his past. It's going to put him in a stuck situation. More about the Queen of Pentacles. And of course, the Six of Cups also could be showing his innocence. And the Ace of Wands, the truth. The truth is that he is innocent. Eight of Pentacles. This is also showing the work card on top of the Queen of Pentacles, which is to do with 
business, work. This is planning, the plan. A plan put in action. I believe this is still showing the wife that found them. The plan put in action to find out the truth of why her husband hasn't come home for two days or three days or however long they were missing. Hmm, this is a very complicated reading, actually. So this could be showing him being kicked out of home because they believe that he may have been the one that was dealing the drugs. Or providing the drugs. He may have been kicked out of the house that he was living in. Everyone thought he just upped and up and left, but I believe that he may have been kicked out because of the owners believing that he was the provider of what's happened here. See, the moon in this deck is more about um, up and down emotions. There was a delay because of his up and down emotions. Hmm. But then a fight to the death and five of swords, wanting to win at all costs. Self-interest. So it was like he was just worried about himself and may not even have been aware of his friends being unalived in his backyard. Because this is showing that his innocence and it's showing his innocence there as well. The man of the house is innocent. Innocent. Truth is truth, justice, innocence. So he's definitely going to be working on his innocence. Okay, so let me recap here. Before I finish the read, I believe that he was the one that made the concoction. I believe that he was trying to just lighten the mood around the place because there was a bit of friction between them. But I believe that Whatever he made wasn't a good blend. It may have been based on his own tolerance towards the drug and may have been too strong for the victims here. The three victims. I believe by the Two of Swords that he could have been out for two days and unaware of what's happened in his backyard. It looks like he did go to bed. He just had enough for the night and went to bed. But they continued to party. They went outside.
they went outside to talk and then the drugs hit them. I believe that they may have fallen unconscious and then froze. No. Um, it seems not unconscious. They overdone it, they overdosed. Either way, they overdosed. And because they're left out in the cold, there's going to be a question of whether they froze to death or they overdosed. Because they did have a high level of multiple drugs in their system here. And I believe for two days he was just um, pretty much out of it. And doing what he does. You know, they may have also left the house at one time and went off and got Oh, they may have went off and got the marijuana. And then continued come back, continue to party. And when they've gone outside for a smoke, this concoction that the mix of everything hasn't had a good with the temperance here as well. Not a good mix. So everything mixed together. So unfortunately, I believe they may have overdosed. And I don't believe that there was a forethought. I don't believe it was premeditated. I just believe that he concocted a mix that was for his own liking. But it was too powerful for the other three. Especially when they continued to party, I believe they may have had more. Okay. Love and light.